break things when they don't. <laughs> I'm a magical plumber. That's what I do. <laughs> Hello, it's a me, <laughs> <throw him. laughs> You're a magical what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dwarfirum. This is a fantastic idea, and I am sure I can build something. Wonderful. <laughs> Just like, give me a second. He rolled a 10 on his bluff check. It was very, very, very strong sarcasm. Dwarfirum really wants to believe it, though, so... <laughs> <laughs> It's like, yeah, <laughs> I more guess, things I happen. You know, <laughs> why can't life just give us a break once in a while? <laughs> come on, right? Come on. Come on. It's like everything has to be so hard. Hmm. <laughs> this dragon thing was much easier than I thought it would be, actually. Maybe maybe we were, like, on a streak. I rolled, and Tempest rolled a one, so Tempest believes you that he can do it. Maybe we can talk this dungeon into befriending us as well. Maybe it has something it wants, you know? Maybe we don't have to fight. I think it's already made clear what the, what it wants. It wants attention. Yeah. Well, it's got us. I'm sure we counted. Can we make like a pilgrimage where you have to go there when you're 16 to like visit it, and then you can and leave maybe, afterwards? If, if you get involved in like rules and law, then sure, maybe you could like institute a change. Certainly, there's plenty of sacrifices, or you know, plenty of materials that get delivered to even the island of Necropolis to ensure that the undead don't rise. Yeah, to ensure that the chaos beasts don't rise, you just have to visit it sometimes. Like a and senior. Get murdered senior by the many traps and challenges. I mean, he has. said you could leave whenever, so. You know. Ah, so you know. It wasn't really a point where you were not allowed to go back. Maybe we could be like the Marrow Men. You can get your sentence shortened by going through the dungeon of Creel. <laughs> if you don't like fighting ghouls. I'm sure that would work. Turn it into reality TV with convicts <laughs> oh, going through the dungeon. <laughs> we scry every room. <laughs> that seems like a slippery slope kind of thing. Maybe stream it to Dragon Hall would work better. I'm sure they would like it. Although the idea does have some merit, doesn't it? So we can win convince it to go to Dragon Hall instead. <laughs> that would be pretty great. It's even that. further away. <laughs> <laughs> but there's more people there. <laughs> it will get so much more attention. There's more people who want to fight there. And that's certainly yeah. true. All right, all right. <laughs> Less people who are prone to just leaving when it gets close. Also, we're not going to defend it. So that's, you know, it get rid of having us visit all the time. <laughs> which I think it's pretty tired of at this point. Yeah. Go like, oh, you again, damn it. It's not what I tried to do. Man, that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? That's actually a really good idea. I want that to happen. <laughs> Putting a leg on the blues case, that'd be great. Oh. Uh, well. You can always try. You know, we should try. What if he's reasonable? That's being reasonable. Uh, like, like, yeah, you know what? Dragon Hall, you know? That's, that's really the place for new beginnings. <laughs> for living dungeons. <laughs> It's so nice there. There's like dragons and like well-trained gladiators and people have like <laughs> slaves they could send in there. It's great. It's great Wait, there. <laughs> Are we going to make a brochure for it or something? Sounds you know, like if that <laughs> could solve, if, if Druhum could design a brochure and deliver it to Dragon Hall <laughs> and solve the problem that way, that would be, he would be okay with that approach. Yes, look at this amazing yeah. place. <laughs> That is what he has learned as an adventure. If you can solve <laughs> things with the brochure, then then you are doing a good job. <laughs> we don't even need to get paid for this. It's great. <laughs> then we'll after that we'll we'll stop the blue with a publicity campaign, and uh, you know, then then that's that's good. Well, if like you guys want to make a convincing case, you're actually going to have to design a brochure in order to we'll, do a proper presentation for the we'll living dungeon. Like We'll need like some some graphs and stuff that shows that living dungeons with brochures get twenty percent more visitors. Yeah, let, let's just take a two hour uh, real time break here to make a PowerPoint, make a PowerPoint pre yeah. presentation. We can see here that proximity to Dragon Hall is directly correlated with number of visits per day. Hmm. <laughs> That'd be great. Sounds like some someone should make that campaign. 
<laughs> the PowerPoint campaign. You, you are like middle class people from, from office jobs sent to this mystical world and you must use your, your well known skills of PowerPoint presentations and like public awareness studies and stuff to solve the problems of an epic epic heroic tale. Sounds so much fun. Yeah. You don't sound very enthusiastic, don't you? Then again, yeah. that's not what we're playing, so I suppose we just <laughs> kick in the door and murder some things, right? Perhaps, yeah. Kind of what we're better at than this. I mean, Drohum doesn't have a, like a, a, some sort of degree. Doesn't in, have a travel agent background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I took travel agent as one of my backgrounds. <laughs> Like, uh, you know, you know, if you had done that, you you know, gauging various tourism, that along with like the the janitor, the custodial staff, yeah, the living dungeon. I, I mean, I wonder. All these things that seem so useless to characterization that, are coming up all the time. The, would that be an actual background for the custodian of the living dungeons? As he's got around, he's been in a lot of living dungeons. He knows the world. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if one of you had pursued that path, the travel agent path, then maybe you could have used those backgrounds and resources here. Rohirrim dies in this. That's going to be the next character, Bard, who specializes in all these dumb things that nobody else does. If Dempis dies, I take Dibs and the custodian. <laughs> all right, it seems like a it seems like a tag team. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Leon and friends. So it sounds <laughs> like it sounds like we don't have any real suggestions. Although I would like to, Drohim probably will plan to ask it if it could just move to Dragon Hall, and we could not have to do any of this. That'd be much more convenient for everybody. Uh, but he doesn't really expect that to be a thing, so. Fighting should generally be the last option, but it doesn't sound like we have many options before that one. We could try talking to him, ask if he's something that he wants. No, maybe maybe like it wants the Orb of Storms back. All right. Uh -huh. If it would not move until we come back with that, then <laughs> we could go back I mean, to I mean, and look for the Orb of Storms. You know. I mean, I mean, we know where the Orb of Storms is. We do, we do. We just don't have it. We could uh, get it for it, maybe. Do, do we have a location, though? I did say I would uh, have that marked on the world map. Mm. Give me a second while I uh, I grab the uh, the token that will mark that for you. Well, particularly, Leon knows where it is. Do you yeah. think like that it, would actually know. have made... I think it might actually be okay with that. If we went there and be like, we will... If you stay here and don't move close, and don't send Chaos Beast out to harass people, we'll go and get the Orb of Storms back for you. And then you can have that, and that will drive visitors to come here to recover it. But do we want to give it the Orb of Storms, though? Well, the bad guys wouldn't have it, and Creel would be happy. Well, they could get it. But we could have it. But we know what happens if we mess with it. It explodes. <laughs> <laughs> it kills, like, all of... I don't think that thing is, like, welcome in Newport anymore. We I have, could uh... maybe... I have marked the spot on the world map where uh, Leon would know, uh, or where he, where he spent time with uh, Zarza. All right. It is uh, northwest of Concord. It is uh, in the midst of the Fangs. Oh which, my God, that's so far away. Which is the uh, the thick, <laughs> the thick, the largest rivers of the Dragon Empire. That used to be where all of the angry Sahagwen got pushed to. That's where the mm. most powerful Sahagwen used to live along the Iron Sea until quite recently. I mean, maybe they've left now. So sailing up the rivers would be great. <laughs> so you want to travel to the Fangs, which is not only really far See, away. That's also a hellhole, of course, where uh, it's of basically course. like a of rift course it where is. like demons will, uh, you know, if I can pour out into the world, and uh, that's like a volcano area. Well, I see there's this migration route. Of that, that's for the Koru Behemoths, yes. We could follow that. Uh, hmm. Imagine each of those creatures to be the size of a Tarrasque. <laughs> yeah. It certainly is a wide path. Yeah, I could also say it's probably more than take this way around. Yes, you could travel into the Queen's Wood, which is home of the Elf Queen and her court. I'm sure she You know, be everything true. about that sounds terrible. <laughs> but but we could solve this dungeon thing without it. We could just have to fight a deadly lich instead. Whatever else that's there. And we would stop him from having the orb. 
We could just and, kill the dungeon and then get but the orb. The dungeon was kind of reasonable, you know. I would rather take the the orb the orb to Horizon or something like that. I don't have the villain we know, him. right? Is he really even a villain? Well, this villain yes. is just, starting he's to just kill. trying to. It he, this like visitors is his type of food. He he just trying he's to get starving. attention by killing people. Yeah, he's not a villain. He's starving for attention. He hasn't killed anyone. They kill themselves. Yes, you're just you're just typecasting him, using your pejorative terms. You gotta call him a might safe not, scummer next. He might not be what, that. What even is that? Shut. I. Nerd. <laughs> All right, science man. Worm is beginning to get optimistic about this. We, we could kill like a lich lord, lich count, and we could like get a little bit away from all this new port. Well, may maybe we even find the black on one of her hunting trips in the fangs and can take her out as well. well I that doubt that, but the black fang and the fangs, I mean, that can't be coincidental. And, I mean, the, the, the lich king is a pretty bad dude, all things considered. And killing well, one well, of the well, that, you, would, king. you would want to go to Necropolis. Well, I mean, we can't fight him directly. <laughs> no, no. A little no. bit optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> we start we start small. We'll you know, if I could duel with Wizard King, I'd probably not you'd be doing that. I'd probably be doing something else. Like like tame the blue and make her my steed. You know, that sort of thing. Tame the blue and make her your steed. You know, if, I mean, the Wizard King is pretty good. It's pretty powerful. He kind of tamed the Midland Sea, I think. No? Was that him, I think? No, it's a Blessed Emperor. Okay. That was the, uh, the first Emperor coming in who uh, exerted control. He, uh, he messed uh, with the Iron Sea? The, the Wizard King tried to exert his power, and while he was very powerful in many areas, he kind of flubbed up, and that's why... The, that's why they say the Iron Sea is so pissed. Uh -huh. That really and bad. when the Blessed Emperor actually came in and made the Midland Sea so peaceful. So, so, so it's like a, a, a mash of fuckery. Uh -huh. Hey, maybe the Iron Sea won't be so bad now. But nobody could fix the problem of Creel. And we could, could defeat the, the evil Lich Count. And if Creel agrees to like a ceasefire until we get the orb for him, you know that would that would sort of even if we fail, we'd be doing something, keeping people from getting killed. Sure, we could ask it, but and you know maybe we would. Who knows when you need like a friendly living dungeon on your side? The question is: Is friendly living dungeon an oxymoron or not? I mean, as a dwarf, my instincts tells me that all living dungeons are cruel and evil things that should be slain instantly. But as an adventurer, I mean, I mean we just dealt with a, with a green dragon and it went fine. Creel is just one letter away from being cruel, so that's also worth keeping in mind. Aurelia, I, I, don't, know if, I don't know if that's helpful. It's about as sound as an, an argument as yours have been so far. <laughs> that not killing everything we encounter is good? The part about going to the fangs. Leaving it alive might be worse than killing it. Well, uh, consider this then. We deal with Creel. What then? Hurt people anymore? No, no, we have dealt with that. It's no longer a problem. We return to Newport. What then? Find Creel's brother. We still have to look for Exilio. I think Jarab just said that he had got that under control now. Well, I we do not think it, do that we? he has. <laughs> and we haven't made sure yet. We can at least ask Creel about it. I mean, he might say no. We'd point to him and discuss it. But 
but it, I mean, it could work. Right? Anyone? <laughs> Dealing with the destroying the lich count? Raised eyebrows from everyone? Very much. <laughs> He might also just say yes to make us go away and then keep on doing what he's doing. Or he just kills us. Yeah. Summon the whole army of chaos spawn again. See, the thing is, like, we went against his word once. Did we? Yeah, we went back to the dungeon and didn't spread the word. <clears throat> well, we had tried, but as it turns out, we killed everyone we told about it. So, he needed some sort of attraction. He can't really go out and get magic items very easily, it seems. So he went for the next best thing, which is annoy people enough to send someone to deal with them. He gets what he needs. I think it's very much a thing about needing something, right? They have a they have a purpose, as far as I understand. The Emerald Dungeon has a purpose that is somewhat unique. A goal that it just fulfills for whatever magical, mystical reason. It does seem somewhat far-fetched to, to potentially try to work out a deal with something that is so closely uh, connected to pure chaos. I don't really know enough about Chaos Beasts to make much of such an assumption. Are you worried about offending them? No, I just have never really worked with them. I don't know how they work. Well, they can't be good, can they? But I, I, I have no idea if they could be good. I've encountered one, but I haven't encountered many. I've spoken to one. don't know if they can speak. Looks to the paladins as to you. Know if they can speak, if they can think, if they can consider what they're doing. It's good or bad, if they choose. If they could choose. I have no idea. Oh. I don't think so, though. I think they're more mindless beasts. All I'm saying is, before we go out killing everything, we can ask. If there's something we could do to maybe work out a way in which he doesn't have to hurt people. Could we, we trust him? come into his dungeon. <sighs> Probably not completely. No. I say it's better just ridding us of the, t of a, of the trouble and killing it. You said that with the dragon too. I still stand by that. What I'm saying is that in our line of work we have enough enemies and sometimes it's good to produce some allies. Do we want him as an ally though? Seeing what he can call forth, I think I would like him to be my ally. If we could get him to go to Dragon Hall instead, that would be good, but I don't think we will be able to. Other than that, I say we kill it if we can't get it to do it. Yeah, but I think I'll ask him first. All if right. you don't very much mind. No, I don't. All right. Looks totally I'm I'm not mad, you know. And I'll sort of go and grumble somewhere else. <laughs> If there is nothing else? Not for me. Nope. Nope. I got a little bit of a shot at another way, perhaps, maybe. <laughs> but... <clears throat> I think that's all I'm gonna get. <laughs> okay. Your first day at sea could've gone worse. The vessel successfully navigates the western end of the Koru Straits without crashing into any storms. The wind slows by nightfall allowing you a relatively gentle sleep upon the sea. That puts you guys, like, say, right here. Uh, 
Unfortunately, the gentleness continues into the second day. The stiff wind that greeted you when you left Dragon Hall is almost non-existent. And as this, as it turns out, is a boat propelled by sailing, uh, the rowing uh, won't get you very far over the course of this day at all. Which uh, definitely leads to more grumbling and grousing from the sailors, as they would very much like to get off of the Midland Sea before something like a storm or big, scary, scaly monsters come and get them. They're red shirts, unlike you guys. Anything you folks want to do during the second day of uh, very gentle and slow movement? Not more than just keep a lookout, I guess. Okay. Be ominously staring out over the ocean. All right. Yeah. Make ominously <laughs> staring out over the ocean skill checks. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I was going to say, Tempest will probably be sitting at one of the oh. things looking out as well. Let's see. Uh, survivor? Uh, I'll <laughs> just be doing time in the Black Fang, I'll just I often be doing stare ominously. Wisdom check, I think. Okay. I would say to really do the Frosty and Companions, but uh, what else do I use? Wisdom? Intelligence? Wisdom modifier. Right. Surely, surely being a survivor gives them Is that thousand yard stare. No, you can do it out in the open. Alright. I am also going to restart map tool once you guys are done with your rolling because uh, I'm getting a number of errors pop up. And that's terrible. Oh, Everyone man. give me your rolls. Look at that. You want to roll? Oh. Okay. You can roll for If you want to roll for some, roll for some. Before I end watch. your world. I missed how much fake fishing. Okay. <laughs> you can do that too. What roll would that be? <laughs> well, <laughs> rear reminiscing. Do you have a memory, a background? For I you? do. <laughs> Make a reminiscing skill check. <laughs> I took a feed and put. put I knew Fagas and and and, and uh, Thomas skill. All right. Well, you folks certainly stare out rather ominously. So ominously.